something interesting has been happening in a world in the WordPress space and that is uh, the introduction of uh, WP GraphQL. So basically we've been having and we still have uh, the REST API coming as our source of information. Case in point is uh, the Gutenberg project or what we call the block editor project. It uses the REST API in most if not all of its uh, productivity in terms of saving the data, in terms of retrieving data and making of blocks and saving and doing a number of things. But the one thing that you realize is that this REST API endpoint gives you so much information from, for example, the ID, the date, the, um, all the different links, but even inside all this information, there are other links that give you other links, so you end up with something that is a bit of a maze. Um, one of the things that I find is that this is, is suitable for the Gutenberg project, if you look at it. However, this is not ideal for someone who wants to make a, a single page app. Yes, you would have all the information, but you have a lot of data that is being given back to you. However, uh, with Jason starting out an, uh, a, a, a plugin that would help his company back at home, um, we find that uh, this has been open sourced and therefore we have a plugin called uh, WP GraphQL, which is on GitHub and you can download it's free, it's not paid. That's the beauty of it. A lot of work is going in, so it would be nice for you to support if you have uh, the capabilities. And basically it allows us to query our database um, and data from WordPress by using something that looks like um, a, JSON, um, a, a JSON kind of like query. And then we also get back uh, information that is also like uh, JSON in itself. So you end up having one endpoint to query a number of things. For example, um, if, if I look at my, my demo site that I've, I've installed the different plugins that are available on um, uh, the repository on GitHub for WP GraphQL, is, is we have a number of uh, plugins. We have the main plugin in itself that does the, the querying and exposes the information on the endpoint of GraphQL. And then we have graphical, which is um, an IDE that is inset uh, in our admin area. You'll be able to see it right here. And I'm going to run a few queries. Uh, we have one that uh, allows for authentication. The let's the, uh, let's say if you are going to query for information or make a mutation of sorts, um, you ca you can request for authentication. And then there is one that is coming out. It's new. Uh, version 0 0.10 has just come out that exposes WooCommerce on the same endpoint. Uh, so therefore, I'm just going to show you some of those crazy things that are happening. Uh, now for Taylor, who is building this, you can be able to just go to um, the different links and uh, also on uh, this particular, in the documentation, you're able to see the different plugins that are there. The one uh, just as, um, if you go to the one that talks about the different extensions right here and ooh, if you go to the different extensions that are available and you look out for the one of WooCommerce right here at the bottom you can be able to go and support the Kickstarter pro um, project that is available for just to push uh, forward this work but you'll see that it's ready and a couple of things have been thrown in there so we are ready to and good to go so in comparison to what's happening in uh, the rest api here let's say this is me just querying for the post that i do have but i have so much information coming in that i don't need i just want you to compare with what you see when we try to do something like this for just for the posts themselves uh, I'll hit this button and see the information that comes back. So I requested for an idea title and an accept and that is all I'm getting back. Simple JSON field, simple information. Actually, if you look at your network monitor, this cuts uh, the response by about 
half the time 50 percent come uh, is, is just shaded off so if i wanted to also get the content i am able to to just get that also in an instant so when i hit that query point i'm going to get back this information just coming in ah look at that i just want you to imagine let's say if you had a mobile application mobile phone application this would work so well with um, whatever uh, technology you're using especially for javascript because it's well documented you have uh, things like apollo client that help you with uh, handling the data that is coming in imagine the power that we get when uh, wp graphql is uh, attached with a uh, with a custom advanced custom fields one of the biggest plugins in the wordpress repository it adds uh, meta fields onto our pages and posts and allows us to add simple information on each page on each post that we can actually uh, use maybe if we are going to develop special components now i just wanted to to to, to show you that this is not the only plugin that's available Rather, we have a number of extensions that have come in. So we have one for WooCommerce that extends all the custom uh, post type of uh, the products and the categories that come, the attributes, the tags, and exposes them on this same endpoint. So I want to try out something for you, and you can see. Uh, Mark, you, I don't know so much about uh, what... Uh, this data structure is for the query, but if I start on something by guessing products is I am able to query the products that are coming in um, The products just like the posts have nodes and Then I can be able to get the ID of the product that's coming in. I can get the name of the product That's a good one. I can get um, What else is there the price of the product? I can get uh, maybe the sale price, the regular price. I can even get uh, the total sales that are attached to that item. So think of it as me developing a, a single page app. If I hit this endpoint and just query it with that information, we still have our posts coming in nicely. And then as we start going, we realize, ooh, we actually have the products coming in here and we have them by name by price and so we can expose this to a, a single paged app giving us better control over our data giving us better control of what comes up now if this was the case for uh, the rest api remember woocommerce has its own uh, rest api endpoint so we'd have to hit two endpoints from our single page app that means uh, more network queries and meaning uh, less time there is more time that is involved in returning of the data and we're still going to get a lot of stuff attached to the rest api um, endpoint that we actually don't need yet here we're just getting what we need if i realize i don't need some of these things i can just take them off quickly and then um, by hitting play uh, I, I have all the information that i need so if you enjoyed what is happening here please like this video subscribe leave a comment leave a question i'll be trying to play around with uh, exposing this into a real world example i'll be sharing about how to get this into a single page app using react or even using uh, react native for for mobile phone apps uh, like subscribe to the channel and share with your friends bye